Hello, I'm going to show you something I do in my web browser. I'm happy to, happen to be using Chrome, but it, this kind of works the same way in Edge or Firefox. So your bookmarks bar, I use that all the time to go to my favorite sites that I use all day long. So I can, I can count them. i got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight up there right now. What I do is I change the default names of those bookmarks in order to fit more in that bar so I can get more out of my real estate there on the screen. So to do it, all you do is right click on the bookmark and go to edit. And then you just delete the entire name and hit save. And you notice the icon is still there for Outlook and the book the bookmark is there the link is there but that text that goes next to it is gone so if you do that for quite a few of your well-known um, sites especially the ones that have the favicon the favorite icon you can save all kinds of space so I'm just going through here deleting these sometimes you might want to keep the name but just change it a little bit to kind of get rid of some of the words sometimes I'll just rename them one letter or an acronym just anything to make those bookmarks shorter just going through and doing a few more of these. Bonus, if you notice my Chrome browser there, that satellite image is from my, one of my favorite Chrome extensions. It's called EarthView from Google Earth, and you can get that on the Chrome Web Store and install that as an extension. Then every time you open a new tab, you get an awesome new satellite image from Google Earth. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, almost twice as many um, links that I have at my disposal at any time I need them compared to the what I had in the beginning. Well, I hope that is helpful for you and gives you a little more screen real estate on your bookmarks bar. Keep in mind that you can also use bookmarks for you know, it might be just a temporary project that you're working on. Just take a link to that Google Drive folder or that Google Doc that you are accessing every single day and put it up there. You can always, it's easy to delete those once you're finished. I always try to make as few clicks as possible in my workflow. So, um, hope this helps.